The outline or table of contents for Jupyter Notebooks lets you quickly view the structure of a notebook and browse through it. Now, here I have the Jupyter extension installed, and I've opened up a Python notebook. And to open the outline view, I can just go up to this top bar up here and click on the outline button. This might be hidden under the dot 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 action here. So if I click on the three dots, I see some other actions I can perform, and I can click on outline from this list. And you can see that VS Code's standard outline view is open, and it's showing the structure of the notebook. In this case, I actually need to go and expand it because there's a single top-level heading that it contains all the other elements below it. So over here, I've expanded that first element, and now we can start seeing the structure of this notebook a little bit better. Now over here, it's showing all of the markdown cells, including all of the markdown headings. And you can see that if I go and expand one of them here, and if I go in and click on it, it will actually go and focus that section. And then we can see that the outline is mapping to the actual structure of the document. So here we have the header, and then below it, we have all of the different markdown cells. And again, I'm just clicking to go and focus and jump between them. I can also use my arrow keys to navigate in this list as well. So I can use the arrow keys here. And when I want to go and jump to my currently selected item, I can just press Enter, and VS Code will go and jump over there. Now, Jupyter Notebooks are using VS Code's standard outline view for this. So all of the things that you expect in the normal outline view also work here. So if I go up to the dot, dot, dot in the outline view, I can also change how the sorting of the um, elements here is going to work. And I can enable things like follow cursor or filter on type. So when I turn on follow cursor, for example, as I'm moving through the notebook, notice how the outline view is going to highlight my currently selected element. So it's going to update in real time and just track my currently selected element. So all of the standard operations you can perform in the outline view are going to work in this outline view for uh, notebooks as well. You can even do things like filter on type. So let's say I wanted to find all of the entries that have widget somewhere in, the, in their text. I can just type in widget, and VS Code will start highlighting all of the entries that have widgets somewhere in their name. Finally, when you're done with the outline view, you can just collapse it down again, and it'll go and hide in the Explorer. So that's a quick look at the outline or table of contents for Jupyter Notebooks in VS Code.